moving day. Today we are finally moving the 220 gallon beast behind me. I am not excited. This is going to be a long, long, long day, guys. Right now I am waiting for my LFS to come and help me tear this guy down. The first step will be bagging up all the corals and putting them into coolers, then tackling grabbing the fish, which is going to be a serious mission. Taking out the aquascape, taking out the sand, breaking down the equipment, moving the tank, moving the stand. This is just going to be an absolute nightmare of a day. I am not looking forward to it. Keep your fingers crossed for me that this is going to all go smoothly. I'm really anxious right now. It hasn't even started and I'm stressed out. So you can see how this day is going to go. How we're going to maneuver this tank out of this house is going to be relatively easy because the space is so open. What we're going to do is just tear everything down and take it through this door right here, which is a direct line of path outside. My bigger concern is when it actually comes down to my new house, which isn't so open with doors this large. So hopefully that part goes smoothly. I really would prefer not to, you know, tear down a window. They are here. Are y'all ready? We're ready. I am not. I am not. Drain the water uh, probably about halfway. Start getting the uh, livestock out. We're going to start with the fish and start the corals, getting them into coolers and or buckets, whatever we need to, to get them uh, into something safe and contained that's going to be uh, able to transport them in. And then we will proceed to get the rest of the water out. Mm -hmm. um, after the water, then we're going to go uh, probably have to get the, the rest of the sand out because it's going to be extra weight that's not going to be needed. Remove that, then undo the plumbing, pump the rest of the water out into our, our bags for transportation and start to take everything out of the house. I'm so scared. Should be very quick and very easy. Trust you, I hope so, but I'm nervous. Holy moly. <laughs> it's a mess. Are we saving it? Most of it, most of it. are already in the coolers. Luckily, I don't really have anything encrusting on there, so I can just snip it off, pop it in. I feel like I got a whole crew here. You guys work fast, too. taking care of absolutely everything it seems like <laughs> there's not much for me to do train professionals train professionals semi train professionals <laughs> yeah we'll go ahead and put a few fish in there too yes. right now i'm going to set him over here but he might get his own bucket to travel in we have drained most of the water corals are in the buckets even got my little critters here the minimal escape certainly helps they're <laughs> catching the fish Stephanie. Yes. Fox face, regal, to many. Mm hmm Orange clown, black clown, two cardinals, a royal grandma, and then three anthias. Yes. Okay, so oh, and a goby. A goby. Mm hmm He lives there by where the zoas are. The zoas that were in the very back? Yes. Hopefully he jumped in that rock, because I do not see him. Yeah. The show must move on. No, we're on the, on the door.
more. Kick it with your foot. You gotta get your end up. There you go. Let's see it. A white sheet. It's like a like a dead. I wrapped it in a wet towel to keep it live. Oh wow! Oh yeah, it just like it was the tiniest budge, and then it from the middle. Oh, but this is the small one. Right? No, this is your big boy. The small boy's still in one piece. Ah. Oh. So when we move everything, I don't want to put any coils back on. I'm going to pop them all in the sand. That way they don't sting each other because we're not going to be able to see a lot. Yeah. So I would put all this back in and then when we get time to rebuild this, we'll just rebuild it. And then when it comes time to bury it, we'll come back, move all your sand over. Okay. We'll plant it and do it. Okay. It sucks you have to rebuild it again, but. Yeah. I figured something like this would happen, honestly. I thought so too. And if that's the worst that happens today, we're going to call that a win. Yeah. So I'm really sad about my aquascape breaking, but honestly, it was kind of inevitable. I really had a gut feeling that something was gonna happen to it. I mean, it was super delicate, that big structure, so kind of not crazy that it broke, but it is unfortunate. I don't even really know how to go about fixing it. So in the videos to come, we're definitely going to create a new aquascape, I guess. But yeah, we're here at the new house now, bringing in everything. We're making two trips, one trip right now with the tank, the second trip with the live stock so hopefully no more hiccups hopefully no more problems arise i'm really nervous now um a bit more but hopefully that was the extent of my bad luck yeah. It's in the tank. No, no, no that's no. the base of your... Uh... Oh. <laughs> the aquascape, y'all, it did not make it, unfortunately. Too many bumps in the road. 